all right guys so i want to personally say goodbye to the legends festival now this was probably one of the weirdest festivals we've ever gone in Dragon Ball Legends. I mean, it was just like a roller coaster. For some people, I guess it was great. For some people, it's probably the worst festival. I'll tell you guys where I stand and exactly why. But I also want to hear you guys' comments of what you guys think or what you guys thought about the Legends Festival. It's going to end right now in just about two days from now on the 17th. So, guys, without further ado, you know, everybody, by the way, Everybody will have their own opinion. It's it's this is this is literally opinion based, right? So, um, some some people might have gotten really shafted, and they're like, "Damn, this this festival absolutely sucks." Because to be honest, whether you guys get lucky or shafted does amplify your mood on how you play the game and stuff like that. So, it, there's a lot of variables, but I'll give you guys my two cents. So, okay, starting off with the beginning <laughs> of the festival. Okay, probably one of the roughest starts to a festival. For plenty of reasons, okay? Some of it is our fault as well, but some of it, it really isn't. So, um, okay, we all expected tag Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta, okay? But we also expected a, a new mechanic to go alongside that unit because of two things. There's one, a unique gauge that got leaked that's already in the database that's not even in the accessible in the game yet. So, even till today. And number two, we got that arts card sleeve, which was split in half. So, it made... It made sense. It wasn't just me, of course. It was a lot of people. It, almost everybody thought we're going to get a fusion, you know, mechanic. But there's that. We, we kind of have ourselves to blame for that one. Uh, but but also, we were expecting to be somewhat of similar to the last festival, right? For 2021, which we got two, <laughs> two dual LF banners, uh, you know, next to each other, which was phenomenal. We got sort of Hope Trunks banner, and then we also got the uh, tag, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Goku Vegeta banner. So we got that. That was great for last year. And then there's like multi Z Power Times 3. So we didn't get multi Z Power Times 3, and we only got one banner, and it didn't have a mechanic. And the banner was kind of watered down. There was just like Hellfighter Super 17, which is a good unit. But other than that, it was not good upon release. Upon release. Now, you look back, you're like, dang, that banner is amazing. It really is. The value of that banner is probably one of the best value banners we've ever gotten in a long time. GT definitely could hold his own, but that's that's how it started off, right? In terms of the events and everything, I will say this. For the events, um, as, as a veteran, okay? You guys might be newer to the game. Who knows? But me, as a veteran, I found it very lackluster, okay? Very lackluster. A lot of returning events, Right? And by the way, even if we got new events, um, a lot of it was kind of like uh, the rewards, for example, the raids, were all split up into like little bits and parts, like throughout 30, 40 shops, which to me is a, it's a huge hassle. It's like a little job we have to do, right? Click on each shop. I don't like it. For the fourth anniversary, they did it quite well. They did three raids in a row. Boom, 700 multi-Z part for Legend Limited Units, 700, 700. Boom, that was great. They should have kept that formation for that. Not including 100 here, 100 there, 100 here, 100 there. What, like, literally, it was just, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Now, in terms of the rewards, I have never winned so much rewards in terms of erasers, energies, and skip tickets, souls, Zankai souls, stuff around those lines, anything but crystals. The crystals, man, they could have dished out way more crystals. Quite disappointed, as a matter of fact, um, in terms of the crystals. I'm like, you guys might be saying, they resume. What, what are you going to rate this? Like a 2 out of 10? No, I'm not going to rate it a 2 out of 10. Because I, I rate everything all together, right? So, the rewards were all the way up here. The events were in the middle. The reason why the events were in the middle is because, we, yes, we did get a, a lot of quote-unquote events. But they're, they're boring to me, right? If you're newer, they could have been quite well because... Everything is new. A whole bunch of events coming in all at the same time. You probably got triple the events the veteran player got, technically speaking, because they're new to you, right? So there's that. Man, there's so much stuff. Okay, leading up to the second part, it was also very disappointing. As a matter of fact, probably even more disappointing than the first part. Now, I forgot to mention that the filler characters, LFs for both banners, were actually quite good for the Super Saiyan Force and Tag Father Son Galaga, but. Uh, we all expect to follow Sengali Gun. We, we know what we can expect leading up to the banners, right? A lot of hints and clues and stuff like that. Now, I wasn't a big fan either. 
And in terms of the whole point, they actually did the whole point really good. By the way, I completely forgot to mention the whole point, which also, you know, uh, ties into the rewards because that's where a majority of the erasers and everything else came from, the whole point. I think they did a very good change with the whole point. So I do like that a lot. For Ta Father Sun Gala Gun, once again, a singular banner watered down. One Zamasu, one LF, and boom, that's pretty much all, you, all we can get, right? That's, that's pretty much it. And then... I want to just skip to part three because we just got part three. Part three is great. Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. I mean, who? That was great. I mean, honestly, like one of the besides Beast Gohan, I can't see an, an, an MUI Goku. I can't see any other hype units as big as that. Probably Orange Pickle because we don't have him yet. But you guys get what I'm saying, right? And he's really good too to go on top of it. And like I said, all this depends on whether you guys got shafted or not. Because let's just say you guys got lucky, right? And then you're using Super Vegeta, uh, not Super Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta in PvP. You guys are, you guys might be super happy. Like, damn, this is such a great, you know, part three. As opposed to somebody that got shafted, you can't even use the character. So it's like, what's the point of part three if you can't use the character because you got shafted, right? Um, in terms of Shallot Fusion with Giblet, Shallot, not Shallot. Way cooler than I thought. The fusion looks absolutely epic. The first Super Saiyan God base that we actually got for fusions, he looks amazing. Super badass. Super, super cool. The scar in his cheek, everything looks really great. But we cannot play with him as a part of Shallot's system, which they do got to revamp, but that's another topic of discussion. But yeah, that, 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 that was a big, big drawback. It sucks. Hopefully down the line they do get our feedback and make them actually playable as the character selection screen in Shallot's menu. But as of right now, it is what it is. Maybe we will get him playable as soon as we beat, you know, as soon as the story progresses or something like that. So we have that. Now, coming to conclusion with everything, I know you guys are reading this. There's actually two parts to this. There's this, and then there's this as well down here. So yes, okay. Um, the pros, we obviously got whole bunch of rewards energy erasers everything we could probably imagine except for crystals right we got shallot fusion which is great something something with shallot finally right i'll take we'll, we'll take whatever we could get especially a fusion it, it looked amazing right um super Saiyan blue gogeta was a big w super Saiyan fours were also big w galagons eh, okay but this all opinion based the cons lack of crystals overall too many repetitive events now this is mainly for the veterans instead of the newer players uh, too many shops. This is just a headache, personally, for me. That's an issue Dragon Ball Legends does have. And a little innovation in the event itself. Nothing really new in terms of coming into the game itself, right? Nothing, like, different. It's more of the same stuff, like Raid. They kind of innovated uh, the whole point a little bit, but that's just a small innovation that we don't really feel because it's just like an auto-farm thing, right? So, there's that. Overall, Part 1 was probably like a six out of ten part two is probably like a five out of ten and then part three probably an 8.5 out of ten and if i were to average it all up it'd probably be a seven out of ten but i'm a dbl i'm a dragon ball legends fanboy i love this game i play it daily i record videos for it so and i got super you know super same blue gogeta to 14 stars beast going to 14 stars all these cards to 14 stars so for me as a fanboy that actually loves dragon ball it amplifies it for me just a bit and I would land it at, at a solid 8, 8 out of 10. That's just for me. For most players, I know 7 out of 10 is average, right? Because the, the finale was really good, I think. It really hyped up the game itself. You know, Shallot finally coming back. It felt like year one of Dragon Ball Legends somewhat. Um, could have this been a 5, 6 out of 10? Probably, yeah. It could have for sure. I can see if you guys got shafted, this could have been like a 4 or 5 out of 10 for sure. Because you don't have the new characters and... Yeah, and depends if you guys are veterans, if you guys are not, if you guys are free to play, if you guys are paid to play. A lot of variables, a lot of opinion based. That's going to wrap it up, guys. Comment down below. And by the way, if you guys did uh, enjoy the video, make sure you guys simply like, subscribe, and all the good stuff. By the way, I am posting YouTube shorts daily. Go check those out. It's um, I put a lot of effort into, not a lot of effort, but a lot of cool stuff into editing there. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. I'll definitely catch you guys once again tomorrow morning for the next one. Have a good one. Peace.